you know, when we last saw each other, we were all wearing thick winter jackets and coats. But now spring is here and the flowers are blooming everywhere. I know you've been cooked up in the house for, for months. Um, and I know you want to go outside and enjoy this beautiful weather, but it's not really safe to be out and about. So please stay inside um, as much as you can and stay safe and strong. Okay, let's prepare our hearts um, to meet God and experience God. And I'm going to ask uh, teacher Denise. Denise and Kim and, and Miss Hannah. Is Miss Hannah? Yeah, I am going to ask them from a distance to lead us in worship. All right, so Miss Denise, are you ready? Hey guys, it's Teacher Kim and Teacher Denise, and we're here to worship with you today. We can't be with you in person, but we miss you so much, and we want to sing some praise with you today. Are we ready? We're gonna start with a prayer. Can you put your hands together, close your eyes, and bow your heads? Dear God, we thank you that we are able to worship you today. Lord God, that even though we can't be together in person, we thank you that we have a way to worship together in one voice, Lord God, with loving and joyful hearts. We pray that your joy would be everlasting in our hearts, even through this time, and that you would continue to keep our children and our parents safe. We love you, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're going to sing Mighty Is Your Love today, because God's love is so mighty, he loves you so very much that he gave his son Jesus just for you. Are you ready? Here we go.
John the Baptist lived in the wilderness. His clothes were made out of camel hair and he wore a leather belt, a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. Mm, I have my lunch right here, my certified organic honey and where's that lunch that I packed? No pocket. Ah, oh, there you are. My lunch, my yummy protein packed lunch. Locust yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, everybody, he's here. Whoa. Hey, he's here. yo, who's that hairy dude? Who that? Who that? Is, is that the Messiah we've been waiting yeah, for? Yeah, no. Man, a little too to this hairy primitive. Yo, yo, ask him. Yo, ask bold him. dude. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, are, are you the Messiah? Me? Yeah. Oh, I'm not the Messiah. I'm here to get people ready for the Messiah. Ah. Repent and be baptized. The kingdom of God is near. Wow. Uh, what does that mean? That's a good question. Repentance is to recognize that I'm a sinner and to turn away from that sin and cry out to God for forgiveness. When you are baptized, you'll be washed from your sins. Oh, I've got water in my face. Wow. wow! Praise God, praise God. What is your message? What are you saying? Me? I'm not the Messiah. I'm here to prepare the way for the Messiah. And I'm not worthy to untie his dingy little sneaker shoelace things. No, no, no. I'm not worthy. I'm nothing. I baptize with just water. But he will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Whoa. takes away the sin of the world. Wow. He's the one I was talking about when I said who comes after me will be much greater than me. He existed before me, before the world. Wow. Hello, John. Hello. Baptize me. Me? Mm -hmm. You should baptize me. I need to obey my father. Baptize me. No, no, no. You should baptize me. Listen, baptize me. Okay, okay. <coughs> when Jesus was baptized and was praying, the heavens opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove and a voice came from heaven you are my beloved son with you i am well pleased hello everybody how are you give me a thumbs up if you're good okay awesome so today we are going to continue to look at the life of Jesus. So do you remember what happened in the story today? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, let me hear, let me hear. Yes, that's right. Jesus is being baptized. So we last saw John the Baptist a few weeks ago when he was a little boy, when he was a baby. Yeah, you remember? But today, John the Baptist is all grown up. He's got long hair. He's got camel clothes and he's eating locusts dipped in honey does that sound yummy uh, yucky 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 but here we see john the baptist he's is talking he's shouting to a crowd a huge crowd he's saying he's he's saying repent and be baptized because the kingdom of god is near well we know that this was going to happen because it was a prophecy Back in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3, it says, A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. So again, what John the Baptist is doing today in the Bible, in Luke, is what 
was prophesied way back in Isaiah. And so he's telling everybody, prepare the way because the kingdom of God is near. So what is baptism? What is baptism, eh? That is a very good question. Hmm. So, baptism. Before we can get baptized, it's important that we repent, that we confess our sins and we turn away from our sins. And then in order to do that, then we can get baptized. Baptism is dying to our sins, dying to our old life, and then being born again. But it's very, very important that we remember that baptism does not save you. But it, is, it, it, it shows that you have been saved. And so then after he tells everybody to, become, to get baptized because the Messiah is coming, then Jesus appears. Jesus appears and he, te- he asks John the Baptist, please baptize me, baptize me. And so John baptized Jesus. But before we go, before we see what happened, why did Jesus get baptized? Why did Jesus get baptized? Well, Jesus didn't have to get baptized. Remember, baptism is for the people that have sinned and they're turning away from their sinless from their sin life. But Jesus, he was sinless. He was he, he, there was no need for him to get baptized. He was completely sinless. Yet, Jesus did it to humble himself in obedience and to identify with us and to give us an example to follow. And so Jesus went and he got baptized. And he said that he was obeying his father. He was obeying his father. And then as he goes into the water, he he goes in and then he comes out. And then he says that he prayed. And that when he prayed, the heavens opened and a light of light came down and a dove landed on his head. And we know that the, the voice, a voice came down from the light and it said, it said, you are my child in whom I am well pleased. You are my son, in whom I am well pleased. And that was his father's voice. And then we saw the dove coming down. That was the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove. And it landed, it sat on Jesus. And then we have Jesus, who is the son. And this is what we call the Trinity. The Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this was this is amazing because this was like confirming to everybody that Jesus was the Messiah. Not John the Baptist. John the Baptist is not the Messiah, but that Jesus was the Messiah. And this happened when Jesus prayed. You know, I really, really, I like this story because I, 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 I didn't, I grew up in a Christian family, but it was only when I was probably about your age that I really understood what it meant to be baptized, what it really meant to be a Christian. And it was so nice to, to not have to just grow up and watch over people, but I could see, I could read the life of Jesus and try and imitate it. And I got baptized when I was... I think I was 18. I actually got baptized when I was 18. And I, and I got baptized when I fully understood what it meant and I was saved. And I fully understood what it meant to be a Christian and to be a follower of Christ. And when I was 18, I got baptized before and then afterwards I went on to mission field. But why should we get baptized? Why did I get baptized? It's okay to be saved. I mean, I'm saved, but I want everybody to know. I want it to be a, a celebration. And again, baptism doesn't save you. Baptism doesn't make you a Christian. But baptism is a public declaration that you, that you and that I am a follower of Christ. And so I want to encourage you and your parents, if if everybody that has not been, who who is saved and is a follower of Christ, to think about it, pray about it. Talk to 
talk to the staff, to pastors, to your leader about what it about baptism. And so take some time to talk about what does it mean to be a follower of Christ. Are you ready to take that step of faith into into to, to be become to get baptized? I did it. And it was a celebration. My mum, my dad, all my family, everybody was, was there. And they celebrated with me as I, as I died to my old life of hiding away that I was a Christian. I'm not a Christian, I'm just a high schooler. But when I was baptized, I told everybody that I was baptized and that I am a follower of Christ. And I was proud of it. And it was a very happy day. Just like here when we saw Jesus get baptized. It was such a joyous occasion. So, I want you to just take some time to think about it, pray about it. And just thank God that he sent his precious son, that, his, that he revealed his son as the, as the Messiah to us. And so I want to take just 30 seconds, I just want you to pray and praise God and thank God because yet again, this showed us, this verse, this story tell, shows us that Jesus is what fully man, but he is also fully God. So let's take some time, let's pray and praise God and thank God for sending his son, Jesus Christ, as our saviour to, to earth, to live among us, but also to be to, to humble himself, but also to be a uh, to be an example for us to follow. So let's pray, and then I'm going to pray. Okay, let's pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you that you are a good, loving God. We want to thank you for your precious Son Jesus that you sent him to earth that he was obedient and that he were, he humbled himself as, as, an, as an example for us to follow. And Father, I pray that we would no longer hide behind our shells, that, but that we would be so proud that we are saved, that we are so proud that we, uh, we, 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 we live our lives for you and that we follow you. May every day of our lives, we, I pray that we'll never be ashamed of who we are and who you are, Father. And Father, I pray for everybody that is watching this video, that if they, if they don't know who you are, or if they do, that, when, that, that they, when they are ready, that they would take that extra step in faith and to be baptized as a declaration and a celebration that they are following you. We just thank you for your word. We thank you that even now that we can look back and we can see how you promised things and we're seeing your promises come to life. Through your word. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's close with the Lord's Prayer. So I will say it and then you repeat after me, okay? Here we go. Our Father who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.